want it either now. Against the Doom, you would have loved it, but against the Coddle, not so much. Phantom you may now select okay. your hero. Little pokes and Coddle haven't eventuated. This time, the poke should work out in Nine Pandas' favor. As that job, wait, Ray, you just gotta come in now. Ramses will take away that Lotus right in front of him. They know the pathway is such a narrow one for them to go down. Oh, what the bounce is gonna be like? Oh, this what? pango nearly clips himself. No way, he jumped over a Kiyotaka. He'll get the kill as a result, oh, but there, Melrin's seven minutes. really angry and he wants some revenge. And he should be able to find it. No crazy shenanigans going on with the neutral creeps to be able to find that deny. And all right. Really pretty aggressive, and this time it's going to be able to pay off deep inside the tower. Wait, Ramses? Oh, really? Has he got enough? Yes, yeah, 380 movement speed with the phase boots activated. They're going to be back up shortly as well. Oh, he's zooming. Radiant How is Ramsey still alive? Where's the boys? No, he's also pretty speedy. He's got the abilities up pretty shortly at least. He's just going to try and predict Dyer's where he is. Time. Gets a glimpse of him and... Oh, oh Ramsey's! Ramsey's. Oh, Dodge what a player. Dodge the as well. Doesn't no need way. To. He's got to live. Oh, Radiance tip him. What? Team oh, have to tip him after attack. that, man. Or the Naga to get not a ton of magic damage we'll that you're having lane. to deal with early on. It's positioning, so Bat's gonna get knocked down to the low ground. Looks like still be able to get the kill nonetheless. Kutaka does take a lot of damage for it. Melrain once again just a little bit too late to get the kill onto the Pango, but it looks like nonetheless he'll get a freebie onto Solo. Might be forced to use the Pulverize and will do so at the last second. And what do you have to be able to deal with Naga? Oh, jeez, a lot of damage on a Solo. It's a commitment just for the Undying, though, and Solo, he's okay. Parvis activated, and they're going to be able to turn it back around to Melorine. Well, even DD in his own face, and a high five as well. Farming down bottom instead of... They're gonna be. Ah, oh, looks like they're getting oh, okay. violent kind of through the portal. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. He's got full map vision. Yep. He needs those those uh, stacks to be able to start to scale. And, I mean, it's even just good for Venge to be able to kind of keep up with things, right? Go for a smoke, and they actually get a kill onto Solo at the highest value, but this is the power of the, the Flinks, even in that support role. They might be able to get a quick kill as well. Onto Antares, didn't use the Pulverize early enough, so he's able to get the Harvest off. It's pretty speedy though. It's like, even with the Rolling Thunder expended. They've got the ensnare back up from Ramses. It's close to the T2 tower, but a Doom's gonna be committed as well for Mira to help secure the kill, and now they'll turn over to the right and see a free being so bad. So Experience rather, but still went over to so bad. Oh, screams. This boy's put in some work though. Let me see what this here is really. For the pango, right? Like, if you. If you Speaking uh, of pango, top yeah. lane. The boys are coming. Melrine's gonna get out pretty fast, but the diffuser play from Kiyotaka will make sure that attempt will be cut short. And all of a sudden, there's two <laughs> other supports to look to move on over. And it's not gonna matter with the Rolling Thunder off the mark for. We'll, uh, we might get the, another mechanic oh, like that later on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Dude, that's a. Hmm. Speaking oh, of the Pango, Melrin again. It's just Kiritaka's able to lock onto his his member. Will not matter where Melrin goes. There's always a Pango to prove to be an issue. They're still trying to hit back Howl screaming on brother. Brother, brother, this is not an attempt that's gonna go your way. Ikea oh, Tucker is a man on a mission to try and take this series, and meanwhile, wait, what the? Oh, it's a Radiance Naga. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting PTSD right now. All of the school nights. You just keep pulling them back, and there's no way for you to get out of your base. It's just full on illusion. Ikea Tucker? Alright, gonna be there. The chain control, is it actually even gonna be enough to have to roll on the first life? He's not even gonna die! Are Love you it. serious? Kiyotaka turns with the Rolling Thunder, but they are in shambles. Hellscream won't be able to TP up, but the Rolling Thunder stops it short. Meanwhile, Solo chases down the secondary support as well, and now they've got the numbers advantage. There is the Watcher, though, that might scout out some of the positioning. We'll see what angle they want to take for Namiga. 
Nero's pretty beefy as well. That He's got a Tomb of the Doom, not looking to mess around, but it, Jesus, all right. Well, that was a surprising amount of damage from the Mega. Uh, they got Solar Crest and the Wave Wolf there. Uh, not maxed out, but close enough. And Ramses, nice man to dodge. I mean, out of mana. Yeah, he's in a lot of trouble as well, but Solar's potentially nearby to help out. Ramses, though, still will go down nonetheless. Mel Ryan's still going to take his spill. Now, Violent's the one that's in trouble. They still had some of the Naga illusions with the Radiance burn, so that was enough to help secure the kill. And that was a fight that goes their way even without Kiyotaka there. Maybe I can get some stuff going for me. Yep. Mega, though, wanted to hit back potentially. First real big fight from them, a 5-on-5. Five five. They're going to run straight to Solo. It's been a big issue for them to be able to well, deal with. They should be able to secure with a kill. Now turn to Kiyotaka as well, but the Roar's going to hold the Panko down for the moment. But Violent. And we've got to keep tabs on where the PL is going. Straight towards the back line. Looking to try and dress some Tyrese. Should be able to do so with ease. Now wants to TP out. And he'll cancel oh, the himself. Bash. Violent not going to matter. He goes down now. Hell scream. He's going to be chased down. Solo runs straight into him. A two for two in the end with a buyback up. Going even further in their favor. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know. <laughs> with how it was uh, positioned before, I see from EGB, it's uh, not looking too much better as well as Mel Ryan's also in a lot of trouble. I wonder if they're and trying to kite it out for another 10 seconds so that you've got this roar available on Vaja. Uh, you, kiting's got to be pretty on point if that's going to work out because Dai, they're bringing every oh. single member bottom. Vajra, uh, he'll get the roll, but it's just minimal damage on the Kiyotaka. He's able to stand strong. Satanic's even activated as well. And now off the left side, look at Ramses. Song on to two, so they caught out Melrine on the escape, so Kiyotaka. Wait, dude. Oh, they don't know he's there. <laughs> oh, all right. But he, he used the... They cancelled the TP with it. They know he has to be around. <laughs> well, underneath this hawk. Did you even call that a hawk? It's like a freaking dinosaur to me. <laughs> Next to the Watcher. Yeah, like a pseudo pterodactyl. Oh, so, oh, nice jump. Kiyotaka. He's going to be able to set up for Mira, who was instantly there to follow up in pursuit as well. What are you going to worry about, man? Shielded yeah, Mango. He's untouchable. The rare albino. Maybe they can knock him inside the base. They'll be able to deal with the shield room. Swap inside. Oh, that's my bag. That's how you do it. Very nicely done. Swap back inside. They need more out of it, though. Double buyback from the Mega. Hellscream's hunting. You've got the Onslaught ready to go to close the distance, but Antares is there. And now the turnaround as well. Ramsey's going to show up out of nowhere with the song. So hold Hellscream down in a place. They'll be able to at least secure the kill onto the Clings, but can they turn it back around, though, on the Mega? Where's Violin? Where's the PL? I mean, he's off to the left side, but he can't even do anything. There's nothing that the PL is able to... He's back, though. Ramses? Why come out to the right... Ah, is, is he in trouble? Heart Radiance? Man, seems untouchable. Archer. Got the Wisdom Rune, at least. So, more speed going on to him. And then, they're holding onto a jam right now. Example, when he could be clearing out this high ground ward. It's a place ward down first. Oh. He might even get caught out here. Uh, they've got a deep lane ward anyway. Oh, they're going to catch up to Violent. Nice juke from one. PL. It's going to be Solo that's on top of him for the moment. Swap to reposition. Nice Violent's going to be out to the left. Oh, Miro, he's still hunting, though. Wants to try and close the distance. The Roar's just going to help the retreat, so Vajra won't have this now for the high ground defenses. There's going to be nothing that'll stop Pandas from running off. Still the dieback as well on the bench, so... Hero! Time. Gets it too, but it's under the Beast Master, who's not really going to provide a whole lot of value inside the team fight. Ramsey still will chase him down. Now they'll turn to Violent X as well. Just so much AoE damage that Violent is slowly losing his health to. It's not like he can even join in from afar, Radiant's right? They took away the, uh, the Aghanim Shard, being able to throw in the Spirit Lances from afar and have them bounce around. It's on the Ags now. This buddy is a mile away from being able to pick that one up. Capability of buying back to rejoin the fight so that you knew you would have an out now, but you've still got the Aegis on your tank as well. Kiyotaka is just continuing to play fearlessly, as he should. Miro as well as playing Joseph is up in the face. Nothing to worry about from the boys, the nine pandas, and what a way to be able to kick off their third tour as well. Of course, game one was uh, not... Oh, violent? 
really expecting them to wait for the Beastmaster to at least be alive. Maybe wanting to try and get them to commit a little bit deeper, but... Almost already lost the fight. Nice here. roar. Very good roar under the tower. We'll see if it's gonna pay off to anything, though. Oh, he's got ages? Oh. <laughs> Never mind, Kiyotaka. He's chilling, dude. Oh, Dino's dead. Melorant. No buyback for them to work with. Barn is it, trying to do whatever he can here for the PL, but it's not even going to be enough. Frams is... They want more kills, and they're going to be able to find it. Song to set up for Miro's clap. And down they all go, along with the Gs as well. The drop from the boys on Namiga. So Pandas going to be able to start off their third and final tour Dark. with a series victory over Namiga. Beautifully done. Very, very nicely done. After a little bit of an initial scare in that game number one. I have to say, though, even though the game, you know, finished a little bit more convincingly,